Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make pecan sandies. Or is it pecan sandies? Either way, these cookies are delicious and they are so simple to make. To start, you'll need one cup of softened butter in a mixing bowl, along with one third cup of granulated sugar, and we're gonna use a hand mixer to beat this all together. You wanna mix it for a solid 60 to 90 seconds until the mixture is smooth and creamy. Then you'll add in two teaspoons of water and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we'll mix this in until it's just combined. Really takes just about 15 seconds of mixing on that. Then we're gonna add in two cups of all-purpose flour and we'll mix this in with that butter. Now because pecan sandies are a shortbread based cookie, you will end up with a crumbly dough. But when you press it together, it comes together and forms a cookie dough. So don't think you're doing anything wrong and panic and add more liquids. You need the dough to be crumbly just like that. Last, we'll add in one cup of finely chopped pecans and mix these in just enough to disperse them throughout the dough. Next, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. So take some of the dough and squeeze it and roll it into a little one inch ball and place it onto the prepared baking sheet. Now refrigeration is optional, but it will prevent the cookies from spreading so you'll have a much rounder cookie or you can just bake them right away and they'll be more flat. Let them chill for about 30 minutes while your oven preheats. Then we're gonna bake these in the 325 degree oven for 18 minutes. Now once they're done baking, you'll want to remove them and put the pan on a wire rack until the cookies have cooled completely. No need to remove them from the pan. Now for the last step, you'll need about three tablespoons of powdered sugar. And you'll just take each cooled cookie and roll it so that the top gets coated with powdered sugar. And there you go, a perfect pecan sandy. Now another way to do this is to dip your cookies in the powdered sugar while they're still warm. This kind of melts some of the powdered sugar and makes it more of a frosting. So either way you do it, these cookies are super delicious. They'll stay good for about three to four days. Of course, you'll probably eat them all first. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos, where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.